Hey guys, so today is going to be pretty quick and I'm just going to show you how to inflate an object in Vellum. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, uh, so let's get started. So first let's drop down some geometry and in here I'm going to create a sphere and I'm going to make that a polygon. I'm going to set it to 5 gonna move it up a bit so here is our sphere and let's give it some color as well so I'm just gonna drop down a color node here and put that to yellow cool so the next thing we need to do is to create some constraints I'm gonna make some venom constraints here and first I want to make it a cloth cloth here I'm gonna give it a mass thickness and I put the stiffness to 600 and then the next constraint that we need is uh, the pressure constraints so we can inflate it. Let's go here and put this to pressure and put stiffness to 600. And that's everything you have to do with the setup. Now we can go into the dop world and drop down a dop network. So there's a dop network. I've got to connect the first port which is the geometry and the second here is the constraints that go into the second here. If I go in here, I'm going to drop down a venom solver. And I want something to collide with. I want some gravity. And I want to, I need a merge. Uh. So here we go. I'm going to connect the ground plane to this and make sure that it's in on the left side. And I'm going to grab it here. I'm going to drop down a vellum object. If you look at this vellum object, you can see the initial geometry is port 1 by default, and the initial constraints is port 2 by default. And as you might recall, that's how we connected it here. So that's all you need to do. And just by doing that, we have a little simulation. So let's look at that. Here we go. So here we have this bouncing balloon thingy. That's cool, but in our case we want to inflate it. So let's drop down a constraint property thing here. This lets you drive and animate different attributes. So if I connect this in here, uh, you see we have all these attributes here. And we can also enable VEX, which we're going to do. Uh, and Whatever we activate here, we can use in the VEX code down here. If we don't activate it, it won't work. So let's, we want the stiffness. And if you want to know what the variable name is, you just need to hover over it and you will see this is the parameter stiffness. So then I can just type stiffness. And if, say that I would do 0 0.1 here, and it would just collapse. Oh. I need to spell it. So now, okay. But we want to animate it, so let's do a fit range. And then let's use the frame to decide when it's going to animate. And we want it to be flat until frame 48. And we want it to be popped by 75. So when it's 48 and under, we want it to be 0 0.1. And after that, we want it to be 600. And by doing that, we are done. Beautiful. All right, so I hope that you found this useful and see you next time.